Hey, Anthony here. Now, if you are someone who suffers with public speaking nerves or anxiety, I wanna share a really quick personal story with you. My first ever proper gig, so when I say proper gig, I mean paid gig, was as a roving magician. I had to go around a room of 15 tables doing a little magic performance at each one of the tables. Now, the magic performance would last probably about six to seven minutes, which would be about three tricks. I'd do one table and then have to move on to the next. Sounds easy on paper. About five days out from the event, nerves and anxiety suddenly hit me. It was like a like a sudden, it was like a freight train suddenly came in and just knocked me with nerves and anxiety. I started to, my stomach started to cramp up. I started to feel sick. My, I I started to have negative thoughts going on inside my head. I started thinking, what if I mess things up? What if they see my secret magic moves that I'm doing? What if what if I approach a table and they say that they don't want to watch magic? What if I what if I, I make myself look like a complete idiot? All these negative thoughts started going on inside my head. In addition to that, I started to sleep, get really bad night's sleep in the run up to the event. And I got extreme night sweats. And when I say extreme, I'm talking, you could go like this on my body and water would actually flick off of my body. And I wasn't living in Australia at the time. I was living back in England. So it wasn't even hot, it was cold and you could still flick this sweat off of my body. It got to the point where I was sweating that much, I actually had to sleep on, on a towel because I was making the bed and all the bed sheets wet. The actual day of the event, I, I remember being really cranky. I was, I'd bite anybody's head off who came, who came near me. I couldn't focus on anything except the fact that I had to, to perform that evening. And when I was actually at the venue, I can't remember how many times I went to the bathroom, but it was a lot. I remember I kept having drinks of water and thinking to myself, oh, one more drink and then I'll get out there. I'll be constantly moving stuff around in my pockets, all my props around in my pockets, checking that I had everything. Basically, I was procrastinating actually getting out there and, and approaching that first table, which ultimately I knew that I had to do. So what I did was I scanned the room. I looked for a table that, uh, that looked friendly, approached them. There was a bit of a gap between a couple of the people. There's probably about 10 people on each table and I approached a bit of a gap so I shimmied my way in there introduced myself as the magician pulled out a pack of cards fanned them out and then said would you please choose a card and then it happened something that I hadn't anticipated happening I got the shakes my hands suddenly started shaking violently out of control now as a magician everybody is watching your hands so they can see your hands shaking you can see them seeing your hands shaking so you know that they can that they they know that you are now nervous and as much as you try and focus on your hands shaking and try to calm it down the more you focus the more they actually start to shake and what makes it even worse is when you've got a fan of cards in your hand it actually amplifies the 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 whole movement of your hands shaking so look I bumbled my way through that that first table so through that first 6 or 7 minutes but I then had another 14 tables that I had to, to get around. And I, I knew that this was going to happen at every single table. And it did. So for all of the rest of the tables, I still, every single table, my hands still shook. Now, it may sound like a complete disaster. It wasn't. A lot of people came up afterwards and told me that they enjoyed, enjoyed the magic. A few of them commented on the fact that I did look very, very, very nervous, which, which is fine. Uh, I couldn't have been that bad because I actually got booked as the as the resident magician for the next 12 months. And I used that 12 months to really work on my confidence and to work on tools that I could use to help me deal with the nerves and the anxiety and also the shaky hands. So I'm going to share that with you in just a moment. But what I really want you to take away from this video is if you are beating yourself up about the fact that you are nervous or anxious about public speaking, then stop. I am somebody who stands on stage now in front of thousands of people every single week, and I'm confident about sharing my thoughts, my ideas, and, and entertaining people. But that hasn't always been the case. And every person who I've ever spoken to has also gone through exact, exactly the same thing. Everybody has gone through this journey of feeling nervous, insecure, and a lack of confidence when they go up on stage. So while you might be comparing yourself to people who already speak on stage and do it in a really confident way and just seem to make it look easy, they have all gone through this journey. You are not going to instantly become the world's greatest speaker. There is a process that has to happen in order for you to be that confident speaker. So what I really want you to, to, to get here is don't beat yourself up. Don't give yourself a hard time about the nerves and anxiety. As long as you are taking small steps towards beating 
this nerves and anxiety and building your confidence, you are in exactly the right place. And if you are moving forwards, then I then I salute you, and I think that's a very courageous thing to do. It is it is a very a, a very daunting experience, but one that once you overcome this this fear, opens up so many more opportunities for you. And I do encourage you that if you if you are somebody who is nervous or anxious, please check out some of the other videos that I've done. Check out some of the articles that I've written. There's a lot of stuff there to really help you. If you know somebody who is nervous or anxious about public speaking, share this with them. Share this video with them. Guide them towards my website and tell them to look at some of the blogs. There is some great content on there that will really help. Now, I did say back at the back at the beginning of this video, or about halfway through, that I would share with you how I dealt with the whole shaky hands thing. Because I know that this is a problem for a lot of people. A lot of the people that I that I coach and that I help with their presentation skills, shaking hands is a big thing. And uh, the way that a lot of people remedy this is they will either lock their fingers together really tight and you'll see their knuckles start to go white like mine are. They will grip hold of a lectern really tight and like they're holding on for dear life or they will hide their hands. They'll put them behind the back or they'll stick them in their pockets so that you can't see their hands shaking. The problem is, is all of these things, they still send out signals of nervousness and insecurity. So instead, this is the process that I went through back when my hands started shaking when I was doing magic. And I still use this, this now to this day if I'm about to walk out on stage and I can feel a little bit of like a, a few butterflies in my stomach. All that this shaking is, is nervous energy. It's nervous energy that needs to come out somewhere. And unfortunately, a lot of the time it comes out in the hands. So we need to manually release some of this nervous energy. And the way that I do this is I'll find myself a quiet little corner and I'll just go over there. And for a couple of minutes, I'll either jump up and down, I'll run on the spot, I'll shake my hands out. This is a really good one. Just shaking your hands out and jumping up and down at the same time. It just, what it does is it just releases some of that energy so that you won't shake as much when you actually walk out there in front of people. It's a really powerful tool, really cool tool, one that, that I still use, one that I know I know that it works because I've tried it, I've tested it. This is one of the things that I discovered in my 12 months of, of, of being uh, the, the resident magician. So give it a go, see if it works for you. Thank you for dropping by. Once again, please share this video around if you found it useful, share it with people who, who or anybody that you know who struggles with public speaking or gets anxious around the idea of public speaking. That is it from me. Until the next video, I'm Anthony Lay. Take action, create your story.